So the Files app got its biggest update in years with the recent release of iPadOS 26. It finally feels like something you can actually rely on to organize, move, and work with your files. So in this video, I wanna show you what's new and how you might make the most of it. Hey everyone, Mark from The Spark. Welcome back to another video. If your iPad has just updated to iPadOS 26, you'll probably notice first the flashy liquid glass look. And that's all well and good, but the real changes that matter day to day are in fact tucked away inside the Files app. See, when Files first landed, it was pretty underwhelming. You couldn't rename things properly, there was zero support for USB drives, and cloud storage integration was patchy at best. Over the years, it has slowly matured, but now with iPadOS 26, it does indeed finally feel like a grown-up file manager. So diving into the files app, one of the first things you'll spot is the completely reworked list view. This used to be a bit of a token gesture showing you the basic list and not much more, but now it's actually useful. You can resize the columns to show more detail, collapse folders so you're not so overwhelmed, and you can sort everything by name, type, size, or date. It's so much easier to look at a crowded folder and instantly see which files are the biggest or which ones you've worked on most recently. Apple has also let us finally customize folders. Instead of every folder looking the same dull blue, you can color them to your heart's content or even stick an emoji on them. Now this sounds simple, but once you've marked your main projects in bright colors, it can make a real difference when you're scanning through your folders. Another change that feels small, but it's actually quite huge. You can now drag a folder into the dock. You can keep your main project folder right at the bottom of the screen. That means that if you're in any other app, like, I don't know, Safari or Notes, and you wanna drop something straight away into that project, that folder is now just a tap away. You also get more control over how files actually open because you can now set a default app for each file type. Instead of every PDF opening in books by default, you can make them open in the brand new preview app or you can direct text files into your favorite editor. And once you set it, the iPad will remember. And speaking of preview, that has finally arrived on iPad OS, and that's the same app that Mac users have had for years. So within preview, you can open a PDF, scribble to your heart's content with the Apple Pencil, highlight it, fill out a simple form, or even sign a document, all without needing to download another app such as PDF Expert, which is the one I've been using up until now. It's not flashy, but it is incredibly handy. Now, not everything is new, but a lot of older features have been smoothed out. External drives still plug in and work fine, and in files, you can erase and reformat them if you need to. Your options are APFS, XFAT, or FAT. You just gotta be aware that if you do format your drive, it will wipe everything and also be aware that some bigger portable drives will still need their own power supply. Cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive still show up in the sidebar but the keep downloaded toggle is now more reliable. So now if you tap it you'll know that those files will stay on your iPad for offline use. And this is something that wasn't always guaranteed in the past. Now, as of yet, I don't personally use this, but network storage is still supported. You can connect straight to an SMB server and pin it to your sidebar, which is brilliant if you've got a NAS at home or shared folders at work. And of course, all the basics are still there. Renaming, duplicating, moving files around, zipping and unzipping, tagging, favoriting and searching. Deleted files still go into the recently deleted folder for 30 days. So if you change your mind, you've still got the option to bring them back. But after 30 days, they're gone. Despite all the positives, there are some things that are worth bearing in mind. Like I said a few moments ago, some drives, some larger drives won't 
power directly from the iPad. Files will only recognize one partition per storage device. So if you've got a complex drive set up, that simply won't appear. And as I said earlier, formatting a drive does delete everything. So go careful when you tap that erase button. And finally, Files doesn't have a universal version history. Apple's own apps like Pages do support it, but if you're editing a Word doc or a video file, it's probably safest to make a duplicate first. So in a nutshell, that's Files in iPadOS 26. It's not been completely reinvented, but it's probably a little bit more reliable and a heck of a lot more useful now. With that new list view, the custom folders and dock access, default apps and preview built in, it's probably now a tool they actually want to use. So if you gave up on files years ago, now might be the time to give it another chance. If you found this video helpful and you've appreciated what I brought here, then why do you consider buying me a digital coffee just scan that qr code there link will also be in the description below obviously subscribe that'd be great like the video that'd be awesome but maybe you might want to even tap the new hype button and help me climb the hype ladder that'd be really cool too and hey youtube thinks that you might want to watch this video over here so why don't you go tap that one and i'll see you in the next one